Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Even though we're in the middle of Premier League team of the season, that loading screen yesterday kind of shifts our focus forward, and we have to start thinking about Bundesliga Tots because that is the next league, and my oh my, does that loading screen kind of brings some hype. All of the players shown there getting five-star weak foot or five-star skill move upgrades. Is EA going to juice this Bundesliga team this season and really drop some absolutely insane cards to hopefully up the excitement and up the hype from Premier League team this season that for some of people's opinions has underperformed and underdelivered. So we'll take a look at that in today's video. Look at some of the leaks that we have right now for Bundesliga team this season. And of course, what to expect today on this game, market wise and content wise, marquee matchups, new objectives, and maybe finally that flashback Laporte SBC today. And of course, we have to talk about all the craziness that went down yesterday with the Premier League Tots guaranteed. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, if you're thinking it's going to help you out today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about yesterday because we had two SBCs yesterday. One expected, one was a surprise, and one was just very, very crazily over price for what we thought it was going to be. Now, first of all, the SBC that was a little bit of a surprise was the Jagielka. We talked potentially about that being in Silver Stars. It was not. There was another player in Silver Stars. That was content that was expected. Make sure you go and do that because it will be a part of XP that we need for this upcoming week. But the Jagielka SBC, I mean, if you're going to use any players from the EFL Tot squad, he is English, which helps. He's EFL Championship, which helps as well. Not an amazing card, but for 20k, we can't really complain. That makes some of the squad building a little bit easier if you're trying to use any of these cards in here. So, not too much to say about that card. The decent uh, stuff from there from EA. And the big SBC was the Premier League Tots upgrade. And the fact that this SBC was an 85 and an 87 rated squad just absolutely shocked us yesterday because we had no idea that it was going to be that expensive. Premier League Tots upgrade 85 and an 87 you needed an 87 two of them in the first 85 rated squad and then a team of the season player in the second squad and and just wow right i mean you look at the upvote downvote on footbin for this 84 percent downvote but we still all do this sbc right just because of the what if what if you pack holland what if you pack de bruyne but the fact that ea required so much for this yesterday was honestly just crazy. And I think maybe the reason why they did that was because, think about what we've been talking about all week long, right? A lack of really good SBCs. Everybody's been asking about an icon pack. When are we going to get a hero, um, you know, a, a player pick or another one of those or just anything to rinse our fodder into player SBCs, whatever. I think EA knew that everybody was opening store packs, opening upgrade packs, and was sitting on a good amount of fodder. So they knew they could get away with releasing that SBC a bit more expensive, which is Again, just shocking. And of course, you can say, well, Nate, look at the team, man. There's so many expensive guys in this team. That's why they made the SBC more expensive. Yes, indeed, it could play a part, but there's a lot of cards in this team and a lot of the guys that probably you and me packed yesterday. I packed Zinchenko. He's a 60K card. That's, you know, 100,000 coins less than what the SBC value is. So, I mean, just kind of crazy to see that price release from EA yesterday on a lot of that stuff. Now, Fodder did have a really nice boom, though. It was a positive day for Fodder investors or traders. If you invested in anything on 84s to 86s, those cards went up a good amount yesterday. 86s went from about 8K last night all the way to just shy of 10,000 coins. They're about 9.6K. They're back down now. Like we mentioned in last night's video, the perfect sell time for the Fodder was right during the SBC hype, right during that first hour or so after the SBC was dropped. 85s went all the way to 7.5K a piece, which if you bought them on Tuesday at like 5.5, you made some big uh, big coins, big money there. So GG's if you invested in any fodder. 84s were up at like 3,500 coins a card as well. So it was a really good day for the fodder market. And if you got out on some of that stuff, I think you got out at the right time. 83s are still up, uh, 1.6, 1.5 thousand coins a piece. That is nice to see there on those cards. So if you have fodder, it's probably not going to move that much today unless we get a surprise SBC or maybe that flashback Laporte who we're holding on to grasping for our last hope of a day that it could be dropped is today. Uh, it's really, really good value and insane. That's the only last thing that can really move fodder that much. I would try to get out on some of my fodder again before we head into this weekend when we're going to get some pack supply for lightning rounds, stuff like that on the weekend. 
and even more of it today with the marquee matchups and the division rivals rewards paying out. Now, Prem Tots prices, right? You can see I'm flat broke. I have 158,000 coins. I have a lot of Premier League team of the seasons on my transfer list. Um, I'm invested, right? I know a lot of you guys are invested as well. And you might be wondering, Nate, when do I need to sell some of these cards? Because yes, prices have started to go up on some of them, but not all of them, right? Sun is just kind of hovering around the 600, 610,000 coin range. A lot of the prices that we expected to go back up, they did, right? That middle to high tier, guys like Kevin De Bruyne, Mohamed Salah. Salah was almost 2.8 mil at one point. He's kind of down right now at the moment. But the cards like this, yeah, he's 2.7 flat, but he's really rare to 2.8. He'll go right back up there. Um, a lot of your top tier meta cards, I think you can just keep holding on to them. If you got a Kevin De Bruyne at like... 2.3 or even 2.2 million coins as low as he was earlier in the week he's 2.44 right now a very nice rise there from him ruben diaz is going up Saka is going up again the cards that are rising the most like we expected are those middle to high tier cards Saka was 600,000 coins he's now back upwards here of 640,000 coins so let those cards rise um a little bit of an unexpected rise on some of the center backs right like ruben diaz and Saliba, uh, not that Saliba had a really massive rise, but Ruben Diaz is 715k right now. He was 650 yesterday. Once, once we didn't get the Laporte SBC, the center backs, Ruben Diaz, Saliba, and Varane started to go up right away. So for all of these cards that you maybe have invested in, even for guys like Kane, Bruno Guimaraes, um, and like let's say you invested in Martinelli. I have a couple of Martinelli's that I bought at like 280s, right? He's around 305,000 coins. A lot of these guys started to go up yesterday, right? You're seeing the graph. You're seeing it go up. I would say I think we can hold most of these cards into you know today, into tomorrow, and their prices still should continue to go up. A decent amount. These are the cards that are still the most hyped. They're still pretty cheap, right? Overall. And uh, I just think, like we saw with the community team this season, their card prices should still do pretty well. Now, I'm a little bit worried about Ruben Diaz and Saliba and Varane still, because if we do get flashback Laporte, again, that could be hurting those guys' prices. But we're not going to know about that until the content drop today. Saliba is rising nicely. He was around 330, 340, and he's upwards of 365 right now at the moment, 360. With a couple undercuts guys like harry kane he's got so much hype um so many people talk about this harry kane card as a really really overpowered striker he just shoots and scores right you know he was down at like 168 he's kind of around 170 even if you bought this at 160 with uh, which i think is a really good price i would continue to hold on to that because i feel like most of these cards could rise a bit further today with rewards and then yes they could take a bit of a hit on the middle to lower tier with marquee matchup supply today but at the same time, I also think that people are going to go out and want to buy these cards because they know they're going out of packs. And these guys are so cheap. And a lot of people just look at them as really fun, new, insane cards for a great price. That's why I think they're going to end up going up a little bit more in, con uh, in price after today's content and into Friday. So just keep a close eye there. I would say I'm planning to sell most of these cards, not all of them, but most of them probably before Sunday, um, you know, because I don't want to hold on to these guys too much as the Bundesliga hype is starting to build. I'm making money right now. Suns, again, we bought it like 570. Um, Saka's about a 700 or 600. So yes, I'm hoping these guys go up a little bit more, but I think they will. And I think we'll be able to take the money here in the next two days and be able to be in the profit. So we're going to watch that situation closely. But of course, Premier League team of the season, as we look forward even to today and into tomorrow, we're nearing the end, guys, right? These guys are only in packs for another day. It's kind of like the last full day to get your upgrade pack grind going. Uh, I guess a quick update, you see the TOTS counters up to 20. The only new cards that I have added are Odegaard, who I packed twice, and also Bruno Guimaraes. So got some duplicates, not some amazing pack pulls, but it feels like the pack weight is maybe slightly better. So I'm going to be full sending some more upgrade packs today just in the hope of packing somebody pretty massive before these Premier League Tots cards go out of packs. But let's talk about Bundesliga Tots because this loading screen yesterday, we saw it when we loaded in, this loading screen kind of surprised us because we, at least I was thinking, okay, Premier League is all the hype and maybe today on Thursday they'll drop a loading screen. Well, EA said, no, we've got other ideas. 
We're dropping a loading screen on a Wednesday. Five-star skill move, five-star skill move, and five-star weak foot across these players. No ratings and no stats on the cards, just positions and skill move and weak foot. But we think we know who at least two out of these three players are. The first one at the left back is the question mark, right? A lot of people are saying it's either Rafael Guerrero or it is Alfonso Davies. Um, you know, I'd be, I'd be insane if it was Alfonso Davies. That'd be a really, really cool five-star left foot, five-star um, skills left back to have. But we really don't know too much about that yet. There's not really a true trusted leak yet for a left back. Um, but these other two cards, we know who this is. And it may not be who you think it is. It is Sadio Mane. Foot Sheriff leaked this card yesterday and said himself he is the middle the middle card on the loading screen. And he's kind of having some play on words here with this for what? Like, why is Mane getting a team of the season moments card? Even though it's Tots moments, why is he getting one? Well, hey, to me, this has the same sort of vibes as Rafael Varane and Hyun Min Son. Yes, you could argue kind of that they're like deserved, but this is a card that they're releasing in the game because they want to give a big name player a special item and they want to sell some packs. And yes, are we going to complain because it's maybe not deserved? Maybe a tiny bit or at least question why that is, but a five-star skill Sadio Mane card is going to be cracked. And that's a card I would want to try out, or at least I would want to try to pack through upgrade packs this next upcoming week. So that's kind of the situation there, but he says Sadio Mane is getting a Tots Moments card, and he is that card in the middle. He also, Foot Sheriff, confirmed yesterday that this card right here, which is what we were expecting all along, when Foot Sheriff first leaked that uh, Nkunku was going to be an SBC, it just didn't sit right, and for good reason, because that card on the loading screen is Nkunku, and the five-star weak foot designation does mean he will be five-star, five-star once again, and that kind of, you know, caused a whole nother round of panic on the Nkunku path to glory card. It went down in price, and it did rebound back up again, but with that leak of the loading screen, you know, you saw that really low price, and then boom, he kind of exploded back up just because of rarity. That's been happening two days in a row now with that card. He's incredibly rare, also incredibly in demand, but Nkunku is not an SBC, right? Foot Sheriff leaked that as an SBC, and we said yesterday, I was like, this feels like it's going to be a card in packs, and it is. He, I think he even sent out another tweet yesterday saying that it is a card in packs. So that's the loading screen, and Kunku, and Mane, and then the question mark for who the left back is. Now, we do have a couple more leaks. We've talked about Marco Royce. We've seen that one. Leon Goretzka is also getting a Tots Moments card along with Sadio Mane. And then we do have some other leaks from a FIFA U team account. This is an account that is pretty accurate with the leaks as well. Um, Jeremy Frimpong is in as a Bundesliga team this season as our right back. That's going to be a really, really nice card. A lot of people liked his inform, and he had the Phenoms, um, Foot Phenoms card earlier on in the year. Very, very popular FIFA name. He's going to be pretty cracked as well. And if he does have, he's got to have 99 pace. That's going to be an awesome Frimpong card for probably a pretty cheap price to help with Bundesliga squad building and Bundesliga Tots. That's a nice leak there. Joshua Kimmich is coming as a Bundesliga Tots card as well. A lot of these players, we're going to take a look at Bundesliga Tots from last year in just a second. A lot of the names you'll see are pretty similar to last year's team this season. I hope they give Kimmich a pretty big pace boost. Um, I don't know if they're going to keep his dribbling 99 because his dribbling is 99 on the winter wild cards. I would not expect that, but we'll have to see. That'll be a really nice boost for him there. Musiala. Uh, it's getting into the Bundesliga team this season. That's a very exciting card. And uh, it all depends on the ratings for these guys, right? These are predicted stats, predicted ratings. And we really don't know how much EA are going to juice Bundesliga team this season. But at least this loading screen with all the cards here having five-star weak foot or skill move upgrades, at least gives me some hype. And I, I think EA need to boost Bundesliga team this season for the matter that Premier League team this season, it was nice, right? It was good. It was fun. But... We wanted some bigger juices on the cards. We wanted some higher ratings. And I think if EA are going to keep people interested going forward after this, they're going to have to turn up the content just a little bit, especially with SBCs as well. But it all starts with the players and packs and the stat boost that they have. So hopefully Musiala is really cracked like this card is here. Maybe he gets the 90 pace or close to 90 uh, shooting or passing right there on the Musiala card. That'd be an insane card. It's going to be fun regardless. Maybe a weak footer skill move upgrade for him as well. Take him to a five-star. That would be cool. Jude Bellingham. Now, this is a name that we kind of figured was going to be in and expected to be in. Hopefully, Jude Bellingham's card is like a carbon copy of his absolutely mental, insane, out-of-this-world team this season card from last year. Who remembers this card? Because yes, 
it was like three and a half million coins. But this is also the card in the summer that everybody was packing. And it went from like 800k to 100,000 coins in like one day. In the middle of the summer, it was like during footies or something. Some crazy summer promo that we had last year. And he was like such an insane card. Such a beast. It was a nice upgrade over his future stars. I'm hoping they do the same thing this year with Jude. And they need to give him a five-star weak foot as well. That would be game-changing over his team of the year card that he has, right? It's all this year. It's about Jude and it's all about the team of the year. Will he be higher rated than that card? And I kind of hope they do what they did with Holland and make him like the star of the promo and do that. So really open, looking forward to a big upgrade there for Jude. Schlotterbeck as a center back, he's going to be pretty cheap in my opinion, uh, but a pretty nice card there as well. And I think we might have one more leak um, or maybe that's it. I think that actually might be it. Schlotterbeck, you know, there's some big names in there, right? Some big names like the Musiala, like the Jude Bellingham, some other names like Schlotterbeck, like Frimpong, like Kimmich, that'll be pretty usable. You compare it to last year's team. Of course, last year we had a really high ratings, like a 97 Lewandowski, 97 Kimmich, 96 in Kunku. Um, hopefully we have, uh, along with Bellingham this year, some other cards that are like 95, 96, 97. Because if you take a look at Prem Tots, We've got, what, one, two 97s. We've got a 96, two 96 with Ruben Diaz and Salah. Then we have a couple of 95s with Kane and with Rashford. And then we have, like, you know, a plethora of 94s and then 93s. Hopefully, with this Bundesliga team this season, like last year, there are plenty of the 95s, the 96s, and then still the, there's going to be 93s and 92s. But I really just hope that EA juice this Bundesliga toss because that would just take the hype of Bundesliga to a whole new level. And I think EA is going to have to give a reason for people on this game to want to go use the Premier League tots cards. So I would expect today on Thursday to see an updated loading screen, which hopefully gives us some ratings. Because if imagine they show other players on the loading screen and they also show us some of the stats for those players, that would really give us an idea of how much they are going to juice or how much they are not going to juice this upcoming bonus league team this season and maybe kind of give us some hints on uh, other players that they're going to be putting in to this squad as well. Watch out for the foot share FIFA Romania. They're probably going to be tweeting some more leaks of players that will be in as well. So that is something to keep an eye on today. Uh, and of course, if we take a look at like Bundesliga out of pack specials yesterday on the market, we mentioned with the SBC content with the guaranteed you know, coming out, we were definitely taking a look at some of these Bundesliga cards as an investment opportunity, as we get closer and closer to Bundesliga, you think about it, a Bundesliga Cup is probably going to be part of the content that we see during this promo. So we're really wondering, hey, are these cards going to be back? Emre Chan is back down again here. Um, some of these Bundesliga cards are kind of at low prices. Other ones are really invested in. It's kind of like there's cards on both ends of the spectrum. Timo Werner and uh, Mats Hummels are cards that just keep going up. Timo Werner, like, rises every day. He's 95,000 coins now. He was under 80K at his lowest. Um, I bought a couple of the Fantasy Foot Ricken cards just for the chemistry links. Not that amazing of a player, but, you know, very important chemistry links. He's rare as a Fantasy Foot hero. I was getting him at, like, 29,000 coins, and right now he is up to 33, looks like, 33, 34. So some nice rises there on some of the Bundesliga cards. Just be very careful, of course, as a lot of people are investing here, and you saw a lot of these prices go up yesterday. Uh, Alfonso Davies was like 80K, and then all of a sudden, he was up at like 93K before the content drop yesterday. He's back down at about 85. So just be careful with those investments, um, but I think there are some potential profit opportunities out there. I don't think it's going to be like Premier League team this season. We'll talk more about this tomorrow in the video. I don't think it's going to be like Prem Tots, where you see um, the cards come out super duper cheap, and just kind of crash the market. We've had like the market correction and the market crash. And I think going forward in Bundesliga, you know, the market will probably not be as impacted by the new Tots cards that are coming out, especially because they won't be as supplied. But we'll talk more about that tomorrow on this game. So just watch those Bundesliga specials from out of packs that you maybe have invested in. Now, let's quickly talk about today's content on Thursday. What do we have upcoming? We have got a SBC an objective combo today. First of all, the objective combo, Premier League Tots swaps. This is going to stay here. It's not going away. But today we're going to get Bundesliga Tots swaps, which is going to tell us the next set of XP and objectives that we have to complete 
to look forward into Bundesliga team this season. We get this now every single Thursday. So watch out for today with a little bit of a roadmap, right? The nice thing is it'll tell us the SBCs and what we have to do to keep this going. Like it's kind of nice to get the insight on what upgrade pack we're going to be getting. I would imagine it's just going to say Bundesliga premium league upgrade, just like we had the league upgrades for Prem. Probably going to be the same for Bundesliga with foot moments, marquee matchups, and a couple of SBCs as a part of this as well. But that'll be new objectives we'll be able to work towards leveling up. We're kind of, we're getting really near to level 20. I'm a little behind at the moment. But I know some of you guys are like maybe five, 6,000, 7,000 XP away from level 20. I don't think we're gonna be able to claim enough XP today to get to level 20. I'd be very shocked if they did that. I don't think they want us to be able to get the 8425 during Prem Tots. But uh, I think we'll be able to get there this weekend and maybe into the early next uh, portion of next week as we get more XP drops. So watch that in objectives today. And then, of course, in SBCs, we're looking forward to marquee matchups, which will bring a little bit of supply. And like it does every week, everybody is doing this because you need to do two squads uh, to get the XP. And at the same time, tradable packs during team of the season, everybody wants those. So again, watch for the games today. Last week, I think it was Serie A. Uh, it was actually, it was Fiorentina players, I think, that went up a lot. But specific players, again, these bottom two squads are the most important because they're usually higher overall ratings and they have a higher chemistry. So if you look inside of here today, right when the SBC drops, you maybe will be able to find some cards you can flip on the market uh, and that will go up in price because there's a lot of demand for marquee matchups. Now, at the same time, we have one last chance for the Laporte flashback SBC today. If it does not drop today, then I don't think it's dropping, but I feel like it could be today. Again, we felt like it could have been dropped all week. This Laporte is giving me the vibes of like the Allen St. Maximin, right? We we had the Allen St. Maximin League, and it just felt like it took days for them to finally drop this guy in the game. It's feeling the same way with Laporte. So I'm going to be very careful again. I know I have some Salibas. I'm going to be careful with this card. If his price goes up a decent amount this morning, I'll probably just be safe and cash out. Hopefully, he goes up to like 370 or maybe 380 uh, or above that a little bit. That'd be perfect. He might not get there. He might. Uh, but I think Laporte could be today. And depending on the value, once again, we're looking at a potential situation where we could see center backs going down in value if Laporte is really good. But also at the same time, this is like the end of um, Prem Tots. So technically, EA is going to have to make it a good value SBC or it may not be worth doing entirely because think about it. I would not want to do a Premier League center back SBC if we're about to go into another league and and what? I'm going to use that card for maybe a couple of days before you know I have an opportunity to pack like, I don't know, if Delict is going to be in team this season or Schlotterbeck is or Gavardiol for the Bundesliga. New cards to try out. And that's kind of where the focus shifts from every single week on this game, from week to week to week for this team of the season cards so that's kind of what we're looking at for today on the game should be a, a hopefully a better day than a normal thursday usually thursdays are pretty dead the pack weight it seems on these premier league upgrade packs is just a little bit better i've got a duplicate odegaard right now that i'm gonna probably craft into something today and i'm gonna be doing more of these last chance at trying to pack a big boy blue from the premier league team of the season so i'm gonna build some more of these buy some more gold rares um gold rares might be actually a little bit cheaper today because of rivals rewards and because of the um, marquee matchup supply. So definitely keep a watch out for that. And good luck if you're opening packs. And also make sure you keep going on those daily bronze and silver upgrades. It's very worth it, especially with the EFL Tots cards in packs. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, if you're excited for a bonus league team this season, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan with Account. I'll see you guys in the stream today. Peace out.